Hello guys, how are you? I'm good. I'm about to do some thrifting, some serious thrifting. I haven't been in a very long time, months, and I'm stoked, so stoked that my heart is racing. That or I had too much caffeine this morning, I'm not sure, but either way, I'm just really ready to get in there. I'm at Hangers of Hope in uh, Tyler, Texas. And um, yeah, this is my favorite place to thrift. I always find good shit and I don't know why, but the parking lot is packed. I could barely find a spot. So I'm ready to elbow some people, um, push my way through the crowds. That's partially why I wore overalls, you know, you get really good movement out of them. You can really just like, you know, I'll try to avoid it at all costs, but I mean, people get crazy when they're thrifting and by people, I mean me, so. <laughs> oh, without further ado, let's get in there and find some good shit. to buy this plate so that I can smash this plate so that it doesn't exist in this world anymore. And I think it would be $9.99 well spent. Horrifying. <laughs> Pretty. Maybe for a salsa night? Cute. Oh my god, cute. <laughs> totally badass. In my size. These are really cute.
Hello again you and welcome to the second part of this video, the haul. Let's just get right into it. I don't know what else to say guys. Let's just get right into it. Let me just show you what I got. I got some really good stuff. Okay, so we're going to start with clothes. I only got two pieces, but I really love the pieces I got. So quality, not quantity kids. First is this darling little dress. The brand is Montu, which I actually have a couple of their items. Um, and it's just this really pretty red summer dress with a little tie in the front um, and some really pretty dainty white flowers. I just thought it was just a gorgeous, lightweight summer dress. Um, I don't have a lot of red clothing, um, but I look really good in red, <laughs> spoiler alert. Um, and so this was only $5.99 and yeah, I just loved it. Super cute, simple. I love dresses like this that you can just throw on with a little pair of sandals and you look put together, but you didn't really do much, you know? And the second piece of clothing is this knit crochet mesh top with long sleeves this really gorgeous coral color and I had a vision for this I was picturing this over a bikini I am going on vacation a little beach vacay around my birthday in like five or six weeks and yeah I just saw this and I loved the color I loved how lightweight it is and I don't know what is so sexy about wearing like something like this over a bikini it's almost sexier than just wearing the bikini because you can like you get a little peak you know and it's like a little bit covered but not really you know I don't know I just loved it and also it would look really cute with just like a little tank top underneath so I'm really happy with this and this was $3.99 and the brand is Nick and Zo. very classy Next, let's see, oh, I can never leave a thrift store without getting glasses of some kind. I've gotten better about not getting coffee mugs because I just really was out of control there for a while. So I just ended up getting these two. I was good. I only got two, even though there was a bunch more that I wanted. And these were 99 cents each and they're just really cute and I don't know cute and they'll be good for just like you know a little sip on some whiskey or a little red wine or i mean i don't know you could put anything in these just they were too cute to leave 99 cents each they made me happy so do i need them no did i want them yes all right this was one of my favorite finds of the day. It's just this really gorgeous oriental style vase. Let me move you guys so you can see it in the sunlight. You can see the colors. Come on. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Just look at that. How beautiful. I, I just love the colors. I love the style. It's a really good size vase. I have some bamboo that I have in a vase that I really am not feeling anymore. I've had it for a while and I, I'm just not into it. So that's what I plan to do with this. I have some bamboo going in there and I think it is going to be just fabulous. And this was only $9.99 and made in Japan. So authentic. Um, yeah, I just loved it. Couldn't leave without it. Probably my favorite find. Well, one of. I just got this cute little red basket. Um, very simple, nothing too crazy. It was only 99 cents, but I thought it would be perfect uh, just to like stick some loose jewelry in or use in my bathroom cupboard to keep some of my beauty products together. I just really liked the size. It was 99 cents and I thought the color was really pretty. Okay, this was too cute to leave without. It's just this tiny little lilac colored pot. It's not even big enough to be called a pot. It's just like a little baby pot. It was only $2.99 and it's just enough for like a single portion 
not even really of soup. I just got it so I can make myself hot cocoa in the winter and because I couldn't leave it because it was so cute. Little wooden handle. Yes, just very tiny and cute and needed to come home with me. All right, now this was another favorite. Um, it's actually kind of a similar uh, aesthetic and design as the vase. It's that really pretty oriental colorful uh, style and it's just this cat but it had some um, sentimental significance to me if you will. So I, I'm a nurse and I one of my patients right now she has one of these that she keeps at her door as a little like door hold and so it just kind of like peeks out of her door and holds the door open and I was talking to her the other day and I was telling her how pretty I thought it was and where she got it and she said she couldn't remember she had it like 15 or 20 years she said she saw it and it just made her happy and she named it pretty kitty um, which sounds kind of I mean dirty and sexual if I'm being honest so they have those like pretty kitty salons that are for bikini waxing <laughs> why can't I just keep this wholesome and like sweet Anyways, um, I'm not gonna name mine Pretty Kitty. I don't know what I'm gonna name it, but it's just beautiful. Look at that. He's just sweet. And I think I am going to use him not as a door holder, but um, I have a place uh, next to some books and I think I'm gonna use him as like a little book holder. And it was $19.99, which was a little pricey, um, but it feels just like really good quality. I just thought it was so beautiful. love next i got a couple of albums i um was just thinking the other day how i wanted to get some i love classical music i think it's therapeutic i think it's relaxing i'll put on classical music whenever i'm cooking or sometimes whenever i'm sitting out on my patio and i'm just relaxing and i just love it and so i found a few classical music albums this one is Chopin, which I always thought was pronounced Chopin, but it's Chopin. So I got him, $1.99, and Tchaikovsky, Violin Concerto, and this was also $1.99. So I'm really excited to put these on and just like cook a nice meal or just like cuddle up with my dog. I don't know. It, it's just therapeutic for me. On to books. I've really been wanting to um, expand my book collection because I've been getting back into reading lately. I go through phases, but right now I'm uh, in a reading phase. Starting with The Secret. I mean, everybody has heard of this. It's been like out for years. Um, it's kind of iconic. Uh, I have watched the, uh, the Secret, um, it was like a documentary that they had on Prime or something, and it was amazing. I'm really into the law of attraction and manifestation, and so I thought it would just be a really great, more concentrated version um, of the documentary. Because I don't know about you guys, but whenever I read something, it just soaks in on another level. And it's something about just taking in each word, like... I don't know, I just resonate with it more. So I'm really excited to read this. Um, it's not a very long read either, so that's nice. And I just have a feeling it's gonna be nothing but positive. $2.99. This one sounded really interesting. The Man Who Quit Money. And it's just about, let's see. In 2000, Daniel Suelo gave away his life savings and began to live. So I'm guessing it's about him giving up that corporate nine to five lifestyle and traveling, uh, selling everything and just kind of living a nomadic lifestyle. And honestly, that has always been so appealing to me and I hope to live that lifestyle one day. I just would like a taste of that. And this was 99 cents, sounded interesting. This next one is The Widow's Guide to Sex and Dating by Carol Radzivill. And it was $2.99. If you guys watched the Real Housewives of New York City, you know that she was one of the housewives on there, Carol. And I always loved her. I thought she was really cute, funny, quirky, sexy, charming. And so she wrote this book. So I thought her book would be similar to her. Just cute, 
quirky, charming, a fun, easy, lighthearted read. I got Amy Poehler, Yes Please. Um, I've always been an Amy Poehler fan. I think she's hilarious. This was $2.99. I guess you could call this a book, but I mean, honestly, it's kind of borderline weapon. This is so heavy. This is the American College of Physicians Complete Home Medical Guide. Like I said, I'm a nurse and I have just been having an urge lately to brush up on um, my knowledge and kind of refresh and this just has everything. It tells you all about symptoms, diseases, your body and the disease process and treating diseases. So basically that's exactly what I was wanting. It's just a little bit of everything. So I got this and also it was only $3.99 for this. So that's just a bargain. All right, last bag. Dun, da, da, dun. It is just a couple of really cute vintage style mixing bowls. I love to cook. I um, always find myself short on mixing bowls, especially like good size like this, like that aren't too big, aren't too small. And um, this one was $7.99 for the larger one. And this one was $5.99. And they're just um, really cute. I love that like spackled multicolor look and the green rim. And I liked that they were a set. And yeah, they're gonna be really fun to cook with. Pretty practical, love it. Virgos love practical. So I completely just overlooked this last item and it's one of my favorites. It's these really cute Texas earrings. I am a Texas girl and that means I represent hard and I love Texas everything and these were just so cute yeah they got stuck at the bottom of one of the bags and so i might have tossed them out jeez 5.99 and they were one of my last little finds and normally i never even look through the earrings because they're usually just kind of a bust kind of tacky and whatnot and honestly these are a little tacky but they're tacky in just the right way i think they're a fun piece and they'll look really cute with something like this you know just something kind of simple Anyways, just an excuse to buy something Texas related. Very excited to wear these. Okay guys, that is everything. It felt so good to get thrifting again. Like I need to make it a more regular thing, like definitely. I particularly love Hangers of Hope because all of the proceeds go to Bethesda Medical Clinic, which is a clinic for um, those without insurance and, you know, people who just need a little extra help and lower cost as far as healthcare. So I always feel good. That's my go-to place. Not only do they just have a really good selection, but I love that, you know, you're also doing some good. So yeah. Let me know in the comments if you guys enjoy these type of videos. And if you do, then give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.